What if I told you there's a medication that can calm mania, treat schizophrenia, and even help with chemo nausea, but it might also make you want to raid the fridge at 2 in the morning? Yeah, I'm talking about olanzapine, also known as Zyprexa. Hi everyone, I'm Pharmacist Stan, and today we're breaking down olanzapine. The good, the bad, and the metabolism, literally. Olanzapine is a typical antipsychotic that doctors use for schizophrenia, bipolar mania, bipolar depression when paired with fluoxetine, and sometimes of label for chemo-induced nausea and vomiting. Basically, it's the Swiss army knife of antipsychotics. So how does it work? Think of it as blocking certain signals by sitting on top of dopamine and serotonin receptors, like that friend who hugs the couch so no one else can sit. By doing this, it helps stabilize mood, reduce hallucinations, and quiet those racing thoughts. When it comes to dosing, most people start between 5 and 10 milligrams a day, with a sweet spot usually around 10 to 20 milligrams daily. Doctors can go higher, but only if absolutely needed. There's even an orally disintegrating tablet for people who hate swallowing pills, plus an injection for emergencies or long-term maintenance. Now let's talk side effects. The big one you've probably heard about is weight gain. And I'm not talking about a couple of pounds. Up to 40% of patients gain a significant amount of weight. Then there is sedation, with about a third of people feeling like they've been hit with a tranquilizer dart. On top of that, olanzapine can mess with your labs, causing higher blood sugar, cholesterol, and triglycerides. Basically, it can hit your appetite and metabolism all at once. Olanzapine carries a black box warning against use in dementia-related psychosis because in older adults, it actually increases the risk of unlagging. Long-term use may lead to tardive dyskinesia, which are those involuntary movements that can sometimes stick around permanently. And the long-acting injection form comes with rare but scary reactions, which is why patients have to be monitored for hours after each dose. In pregnancy, olanzapine is category C, meaning the risks aren't fully clear, but newborns can have withdrawal or movement issues. So here's the takeaway. Olanzapine can be life-changing for people with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, but it comes with trade-offs, especially when it comes to weight and metabolism. Always talk with your doctor before making changes. And if you found this breakdown helpful, hit that follow button because we've got plenty more meds to cover. Stay healthy and I'll see you next time.